Well, good afternoon, folks. Um, this is Dennis at Frank and Train Labs. I wanted to give you a little show and tell. Made some progress today on the um, on the conversion of the Royal Blue. This one, you know, has the um, the groove uh, slot cut into it for that gear. And uh, as an example, this one does not. Okay, uh, so you can see that's all filled in. Um, I was able to get a motor assembly put together. I have um, the um, magnetic fields, the uh, original flyer armature, brush holders and brushes. This is the uh, early version with the spring coil springs. And I've got the um, puff and chuff smoke gear installed. It's looking good. I've got a um, smoke adapter for the um, 3D printed smoke that we have and I just stuck a lid on so you can see how that lid will work and um, I've got a, a oops, excuse me a big order of boards that came in these are all the boards uh, almost all I got one more board to come in I had to make another special order of these guys um, so that we can build the engines that we're being asked to supply we with so we're in good shape parts wise and I made a little more progress on the puff and chuff board. It's over on the other bench, but it'll be built and assembled in that order right there. And the um, what I wanted to walk through was just what they are and what they do uh, as far as the PC boards and how you can get them rather than getting a whole engine. You don't need to do that. Okay. Uh, so for the smoke board, um, it looks like this. And it bolts right on to the, <clears throat> to the um, 3D printed smoke housing. And when in, it's assembled, it'll have a heater on the back side. And it'll have the thermistor uh, installed as well. That's that gold piece right on top of it. Little tiny glass looking thing. And um, the chip that runs the thing and the other components to keep it going. And it needs between 8 and 9 volts uh, in DC. And we get that out of our... Um, power distribution board which is right here the smoke smart smoke comes out of here plus the plus minus the minus remember that so that's the smoke piece uh, this is the power distribution board here's one that's assembled so you get an idea of what's on it there's only two components they are two six amp rectifiers I went big because I wanted to be able to take the heat uh, these things can get warm on us and they're doing a lot of conversion and I split them because I wanted to smoke to take a drain all by itself and then the other guys were pulling from a separate unit and the motor and the um, sound system doesn't sound system doesn't take much at all so the motor and the sound work well together smoke by itself kind of isolates it from the other guys and we assemble that it goes on top of a little holder something like this and it will amount like that. It'll stick out. And when it sticks out, it's actually going to mount onto uh, something like this. And it'll stick out over the motor control board. This is the unassembled motor control board. And this this, this kit like thing, we these are these are some adapters that I had made for the uh, tin. Um, tin tenders or not the tin tender the tin chassis tender this is for the plastic I have them also for the metal body as well but what you can see is there's um, some tabs that s stick down into that groove and then we put it in a screw on the back side and made it short so it doesn't stick up and touch anything and then you can mount you mount the um, you can mount your motor control board right there you can mount your uh, motor distribution board right there. And then we also have a gizmo. It'll be similar to this, not exactly, but here is where you mount your volt regulators. And it has an in and an out. So that's the in and out, and it screws on to here. And they solder into your power distribution board, and then they go forward to the, uh, to the engine. Um, so if you have an engine and you're interested in going with uh, the permanent, permanent magnet, conversion and then you'll need this just came off too isn't that beautiful wow um it 
I use red a lot and black. People want black. I have to say, black looks pretty damn good. Okay, uh, so if you wanted this motor and uh, convert your, get rid of that big metal wire around field, you can do that, but then you need a digital reverse, and this is the one that we have. There are others. Dally has one or, and, and some other folks, but this is how this would look in, in the assembly. It would fit like that, and your uh, caboose would come down on top of it, and it would hook up to your engine. This is an old one. Yeah, this is, this is an early model tender. Uh, but this is how this fits together, screws together, a couple screws here, a couple screws there, bolts up. Then you wire it up, and you're off and running. And then the, um, like I said, the um, power distribution, or the uh, volt regulators sit up here like that. So you can mount those up. Now as far as progress on this engine, I've made the groove, um, and I've mounted the... Um, Puff and chuff system on it, and it's working well. I tested it. I made a little video of it the other day. I think you saw it. And the engine, the little motor is running fine. It's funny, this old style engine, they really react when you put the uh, permanent magnets. These magnets are very strong. And when you put them together, uh, it's it's got to be tricky. <laughs> Assembling them, the armature just loves to get over there. So it's, it's ready. When it gets energized, it's ready to spin. Then this is the little plate that we use to mount the... Um, to mount the uh, the completed yeah there that completed board goes that way and so we get the components on here got some partial and then we wire that up switches down here and then this is the adapter for the smoke uh, smoke this is the smoke system that I come up with several years ago it's just works so good I'm I'm like surprised and shocked and happy and all that stuff uh, but what we do with that then is we get some rock wool and stuff that down in there. We pre pre um, lube it with some of that smoke oil, any of the typical flyer oil. It won't come out because that hole's not connected. Okay. Then you get your stem. You don't want to put it in too far because that hole comes out. But you just put it in where the threads are just above the opening, and then the smoke can come out. There's a little motor that goes right there. I have one here. Motor has a fan on it, and it's it's screwed to a little square plate, and it just bolts right to that. And then it gets wired into this board, and that's going to get three to three three and a half volts to puff, 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 and it's going to blow smoke in, out that up the stack, and this is going to get hot from the temperature with this board on it. Right, this board goes like this. It gets plugged in, it gets hot, and it vaporizes that oil that's on top. And then that just fills that chamber up with smoke. And then when the fan comes on, that smoke gets blown out. It's really, really nice. And it works great. And um, I'm not hacking up any of the uh, original vintage stuff. I'm using all 3D printed, so it's all replacement parts. So if you had smoke or on a different engine, um, I have a different, a different adapter for the engines that um, have the gear and all that. I have a different puff and chuff without the gear on it so it just sits down and the gear you have is the one you use with this thing it works well this one is getting modified for ball bearings that's why it's a little taking me a little longer to get going with it uh, I did get this on I'm going to be machining these just a little bit more and then I'll be putting the ball bearings and axles together hoping I can get those to be smooth square and just roll nice and then I may have to take this back apart and put ball bearings on this motor. It didn't come with them. This was an older motor. I hadn't really done anything to it. So it's got the, the brass uh, inserts in there right now. And um, we're building kits. I got boxes over here with some names on them. And I'm stuffing them with parts as I print. I'm printing every day. Um, I printed two of these kits, these component packages today. I think I can pull one out. There you go. Uh, when I print them, I put them in a plastic bag. And um, they're waiting to be assembled. Um, it all depends on if I'm machining the... Um, I'm going to probably have to machine these things for you guys first time anyway. So it'll be assembled something like this with the wheels. And it'll be pretty ready to go. And I guess what I'll ask you to do is just mail me back a chassis if you have one. Uh, so I 
make more for others. Um, but that's probably how I'm going to get those out. The the um, control stuff depends. We haven't really talked about the tender side of how people want this thing. I can make it so the tender will bolt onto uh, the an original royal blue chassis. You know, we use our our pivot mounts, and they are designed to fit right into the factory openings where the, uh, the trucks were. Uh, but if there's people that want that extended range or, or or their own tender shape or something different, I haven't really gone that far. I'm just getting the pieces together that I know I need, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make them as I can, fill them up in the box, and we'll have to figure out <laughs> how far we're gonna go with that thing. Um, I know on the height of the um, of the trucks they were a little high, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is lower this piece some fashion. I got to make sure nothing touches out on the other end either. So that's going to be a little bit of a fiddly thing, but I think it'll work out just fine. Boy, I can't get over how these come out so nice looking in black. And then when you put the magnets on there in silver, you know, uh, they look, they would look really nice. Yeah, that's going to be hot. That will be hot. And um, I just had an order for five of these things and five motors from a fellow. And real nice folk up, out out west so we're we're moving chugging along and um if you have other engines like an atlantic that you think you want to convert it's pretty easy to do get this guy and get this guy and you can wire it up and be off and running if you don't want if you don't have smoke you don't need to worry about that. if you have smoke you'll need one of these maybe two we'll see if you have sound or not you know, all, you say add the stuff to it, but you know what? It all has a price tag, so you got to be careful, okay? All right, that's it. That's all I got. I did find that uh, I was looking into this toolbox that I got. I got it for uh, $15. I can't believe it. It's, um, it's from 3D Printing Designs, and they have nine left. And I'll, I'll tell you, I have used mine. Uh, I'm sort of magnetizing some of this stuff now, uh, working around these big magnets. But this thing is just so handy. It's got rubber grip, and it just fits in your hand. It extends out if you need to. It's got a little shorty to, to get into places, or you can run it with an extension. And it has all, all these bits that uh, they have the nut drivers um, and then all the other types of uh, tips for screwing things in, um, different sizes and different shapes of uh, screws. Uh, the ones I use, of course, are the most are the, uh, the hex, uh, the, the Phillips and the flat tip, but, uh, and they also have the star and uh, some other ones, but I thought $19. This thing, this thing folds down and locks. Then you close it up, and it's just, and it stays there. Of course, now I can see I have a, oh, I have one out. I have one missing. So, <laughs> you know, you got to keep tabs on it. But boy, 15 bucks. That's pretty darn nice. Um, uh, that's about it. We're, we're just running. Uh, we had a little scare. Uh, Margaret was a little sick on Monday, but she got better Wednesday, and today's Friday, and she's perfectly fine. Um, she did have some illness in um, April that made us nervous, but we got out of that. Four days in the hospital. She's all better now. The machine is working like a champ. It just pumps out parts. I'm over there messing around with another chassis. I'm getting ready to grind and drill on another chassis. I want to have three or four chassis ready um, soon so I can start building them up like this one. Okay, that's what I've been doing today off and on and trying to get my... I got the boards, now I got to order parts. So I've been going through my bill of materials paperwork. Don't look over there. And getting together the parts orders I need. Um, components they're not expensive but boy they add up in a hurry when you're building 20 at a time or something like that okay talk to you guys later have a good weekend i'll be around i'm pretty sure we'll see if we can't get some wheels on this baby yeah ball bearings too later